Brett Beardby cracking open his first ever beer by the Tofino Brewing Company out of BC. Again, along the lines of the beers brought back to Red Beard by the awesome Captain Morgan. Another lager, West Coast lager. If it's as good as the Bowen Island Deep Six lager, then we shall be friends, Tofino Beer Company. Brewing guys. What? <clears throat> going down people of the world my name is redbeard and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today we've got a can of tofino lager by the tofino brewing company fancy name yes they got very creative with their name on that obviously as you can see tofino tofino they brew small batch, handcrafted beer using high quality malted barley and Pacific Northwest hops. Their tasting room is open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Try a flight of their staples and seasonals, enjoy a pint of your favorite, or just grab some beer to go. Tofinobrewingco.com. Check them out. They seem pretty cool. They actually seem to make a lot of cool beers too, and I'm kind of sad that this is the only one that I'm able to try. There's a the Tough Session Ale. They make a blonde ale. They make a hoppin' cretin IPA. Actually, the 7.5% looks pretty cool. Kelp stout. And spruce tree ale. And then there's the tofino lager. And hunt and gather. Kettle sour. Dark lager. Coffee porter. Look at this. It's insane. Cosmic wave double IPA. And that's it. Wow, that's nuts. Anyway, lager, I'm hoping. Good, good lager. Be a good lager. You be a good lager now. Let's see what we've got. That looks, looks rather light in color, which could be a good sign. Could be no kind of sign at all. I don't know. I kind of like the look of that. Bubbles are pretty. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. A very decent looking lager right there. A little bit of haziness to it, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Nice, nice looking carbonation. Doesn't really have any kind of overly nice malty smell. It almost... It almost smells like a, a bud or something along those lines. Let's give her a shot. It's better than bud or something. Mmm. Oh, it's got that really, really awesome multi flavor that I love. Not a, not really, you know, in your face with it. It's very mild but it's there and my mouth likes it really really nice and smooth what is this just five five percent so yeah let's do this cheers everybody and of course cheers captain morgan you, 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 your overall ratio of good beers you brought me to things i don't really like are, are it's pretty good it, it's you do well Oh, hot summer day, this nice and cold, that can would disappear so very quickly. Uh, things are there, okay. Today being February 21st, on this date in 1947 in New York City, Edwin Land demonstrated the first instant camera, the Polaroid Land camera to a meeting of the Optical Society of America. And I'm assuming blew at least a few people's minds because up until then it was you know you take your pictures you get the negatives and that and you develop them they hope that and it took some time in 1947 even i didn't realize the polaroid was around for that long i bet those cameras were damn expensive it's like now it's your, your phone is you can't print them out but you can just take pictures all the time and then you take them somewhere and decide which ones you want to print. And... Random partial hiccups. Sorry. Mm. 
Yeah, that's delightful. It's absolutely delightful. The can? Not so much. Apparently, Tough City Brewery? You see that there? You go, Tough City Brewery Limited. So, they're owned by somebody else, maybe, or something like that. And yeah, there's not a damn thing on here aside from that. There is some kind of a date that says 07 11 16, so I'm assuming that's a brewed on date. Good on you there. Complete lack of ingredients though, so let's go back over here and roll down to. No, that's the wrong one. That's the right tab. Go up to the Tofino Logger. Here we go. Yeah, if I can find it. Okay. Like you couldn't even put this on the can. A clean, clear, traditionally brewed lager with a light, refreshing body, finished with Czech hops. That would have been fine. Look at all the room. Look at all the blank room on the can. So it has Czech hops. And... Some kind of malt in it. Who the hell knows? It's annoying. The flavor is not even a little bit annoying, so you kind of, you kind of won the overall battle in that aspect. On this date in 1965, Malcolm X was assassinated at the Auburn Ballroom in New York City. Like, in a bad way. Apparently, like, somebody shouted out a racial slur that I don't want to repeat, and they tried to quell the, quell the crowd, calm them down, and as that was happening, somebody rushed the stage with a shotgun and shot and then two other people came in with automatic pistols and shot and apparently during the autopsy it was revealed that Malcolm sustained 21 gunshot wounds to the chest, left shoulder, arms and legs including 10 buckshot wounds from the initial shotgun blast. He was pronounced dead not long after that happened at a hospital nearby. Fucking racist retards only thing I can really say without just going off on a tangent. Like, if you've been watching my videos, you know I can occasionally get a little upset with shit like that. Because, like, why? Why be racist? Why? Why the fuck would you be racist? Tasty lager. Very, very tasty lager. I cannot deny the flavor at all it's if you're in BC I'm mildly jealous because you're able to get this a lot more frequently than I am I'm pretty sure I haven't seen I haven't seen any of the beers that were brought back to me by Captain Morgan anywhere in any store that I've been in that made sense on this date in 1972 the Soviet unmanned spaceship Luna 20 landed on the moon it's actually pretty cool one of the first ever, I think it was their second one that did it. I can't recall. I'll annotate and correct myself as I go, if you've noticed. I'm trying to do that, get a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more actual information than me just being like, I think, and this, and that. Anyway, landed on the moon, took a small sample of moon soil, I guess you'd say, and then shot back up and came back to Earth, which is pretty damned impressive for 1972. I have to say, that's kind of awesome, you know, whole America and Soviet, I think that was probably during the Cold War, it was still going on maybe a little bit, I don't know, again, i correct myself if I'm wrong, if I don't know what I'm talking about, which could happen. Yeah, it's really just super nice, easy drinking beer right there. They got one, one of these small BC beer tiny cans left, the artisanal IPA from Bowen Island. So then we're back to normal stuff, except for I think a couple smaller bottles might be coming up as well. I don't know. Enjoy this shortness of the vlogs while well, they're short kind of thing I guess maybe and stuff I'm at ten and a half minutes of recording time right now so it's not that bad things will be cut down and chopped out and 
blah, 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 blah. Finally on this date, in 1995, Steve Fawcett landed a leader Saskatchewan, becoming the first person to make a solo fright of solo fright. Yeah, he scared himself across the goddamn ocean. A solo flight across the Pacific Ocean. In a balloon, obviously. He's actually a pretty badass guy. He did that, and then at another time, he was the first person to fly... He was the first person to fly anything non-stop around the world, which was a balloon at the time. And I don't know if it was that during that flight or a subsequent flight, but he actually went faster, like, he went 200 miles an hour in a fucking hot air balloon. That would be scary as hell. I don't even know how. He must have, like, got up into the jet stream or something. I don't even know. That would be terrifying. Drink number, the last. Not even the slightest bit terrifying. No fear of that beer. It's good stuff, my dear. Yeah. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Tofino Brewing Company. Or Tough Brewing Company. Tough City Brewing Company. Whatever the hell, Brewer, Brewery Company, Brewer Limited. Tough City Brewery Limited is what it says on the can. <laughs> I did that well. Your Tofino Lager rating. As far as lagers go, eight might have been a nine. You had some kind of ingredient type, something on the can, like that. that's not impressive as far as the blank space and what you could have put on to give people the tiniest bit of information about the beer. <sighs> Excuse me. Again, not bad there. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's what me. Put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! It just occurred to me that a random thing was in the shot the entire time. And I don't really know what else to do to end this vlog. So if you can guess what it is, like relatively specifically, then I'll, I'll send you some fucking Redbeard stickers or something. That's about all I have as far as merchandise because I am a tiny little YouTuber.